Hello everyone and welcome to TFS Insider Season 2, Episode 2 for the Fashion Show 2022. My name is Jackie and I'm here with Irma to tell you everything fashion inside and outside of TFS. Today we are going to focus on the inner working of a small business in the apparel industry. More specifically, we're here at the Funky Zebras on Grand Avenue in Ames to talk about owning your own business and the operations of a boutique. Today we are at the Funky Zebras, and could you maybe just introduce yourself, talk a little bit about your store? Yeah, my name's Morgan Stroman, and yeah, we're here at the Funky Zebra in Ames. We just moved, so we're located at 2925 Grand Avenue by the mall, and we really like to have just a variety of stuff from like teen to like middle-aged and be able to kind of help and style everyone in that area. What's something that inspired you to like start your business or what was the like I- big idea I guess behind like your business and everything? Yeah, well I um I also have a hair shop so it was also kind of just always a dream to have both. I always thought that would be so cool like you don't see anything like that especially in Ames. Um, just to kind of have like kind of that more like modern feel when you're coming in. And then again, I feel like a lot of shops are like, I don't want to shop at Target. We're like, just not knocking Target, but I love it. But (laughs) just where like everyone has that, right? You're like, everyone has the same thing. So I think what's really nice in a boutique setting, um, is that you, um, merchandise moves fast Mm -hmm. right so you have like smaller amounts that are coming in at a time so it goes really fast so we're always getting new stuff and so we can really listen to what the consumer wants and then you're not going to be wearing the same thing as like everyone else yeah Yeah. I love that um do you have any advice for anyone that's thinking of opening their own small business or boutique like this Yeah, I think um, having like a business plan like is huge if you're thinking about getting into that Um, and doing your research and having like and knowing your like five year plan. I think it's important to know like it's not going to happen overnight and you don't really want it to happen overnight because I think that's when you see a lot of businesses fail. Yeah, Yeah, you want to like be motivated or be drawn to like the long term. So like in five years, I want like this, 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 and this, Mm -hmm. you know, and I think that is like my biggest advice just because I've had the salon for 10 years and I've had this, you know, for a few Mm -hmm. years is like you always want to be like getting better and having goals for the future and not trying to like get big too fast. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Um, behind the name, the Funky Zebra, I mean, I love the name. And yeah. we always just like wonder, like, where did the inspiration come from? So the Funky Zebra is actually, so it's not a franchise, but there's a use of name. So there's a Funky Zebra here. There's a Funky mm-hmm. Zebra in Ankeny. Okay. There's Funky Zebra in Pella, um, Clear Lake, Coralville. I mean, there's a lot. Yeah. So we all, each owner is different. So um but we all kind of work together to try to like go from a list of certain vendors that we go to. We can, you know, go off of that. Um, so we pay like a use of name fee. Um, and so I like, think a lot of people are familiar with like the Funky Zebra name because they might have seen it like in Des Moines or yeah. like in Ankeny or something like that. And so so it's just fun and girly and flirty. Awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, here's a little funner one. Uh, what is one of your favorite pieces you have in store right now? Oh my gosh. Um, so I'd say over the winter, like the shacket was probably yeah. like the thing. And now, and so many fun shackets, there's like a fun, like a corduroy is like really in right now. Yeah. So those ones are really fun. There's one that has like some zebra print on it. So that's really fun. There's also like an acid washed, um, kind of like a denim shirt. That's okay, a little bit good. distressed. And I really love that. And a couple good pair of flares, I feel like, because flares are yeah. so cute mm-hmm. and back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're so in right now. Yeah. yeah. No, no, they like, definitely really are. Yeah. And sweater vests. <laughs> keep rocking it. Yeah. Yeah. I love those. Um, how often do you go to market? And when you go there, like, kind of like, what does that look like? And about how much time do you spend there? Yeah. So usually, um, usually it's over, uh, like, a weekend. So whether it's, like... Dallas or Chicago, Vegas, LA, like um, there's some smaller ones more locally. Um, and at the smaller ones are more like like a day thing. You oh, know, they're open yeah. during the day. Um, the bigger ones, you would go there for like anywhere from two to four days. Okay. Um, and super fun. And so there's lots of different vendors there with, um, just all like their new items Mm -hmm. for like the upcoming season. And then you kind of get to go through and be like, oh yeah, I really love that. Or I really love this. 
and um, and then kind of like pre-order that mm -hmm. um, so you can kind of get ahead of the curve, you know, and know all you have all that fun stuff yeah. coming in to market to your audience. Yeah, so it's super fun. So I would say seasonally, yeah, like okay. seasonally, four awesome. times a year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's about how often Very we do cool. that. So fun. Yeah. Kind of going off of that, what does your like day to day look like owning both the salon and the boutique? Yeah. So my day to day, probably because I'm still behind the chair, mm -hmm. um, is a little bit different. So the Funky Zebra is co owned. So I own. The salon and then I co-own the boutique and so then there's another gal who owns the boutique with me um so she um has a day job and does this you know um like as her second job and so uh, for me I'm still behind the chair and I'm here so I'm like here all the time so usually in the morning um it just ranges from like we have employees so helping the employees mm -hmm. like open the register things like that um and then we usually have orders coming in like on Mondays and Tuesdays so we would unload those um get those into the system like tag those then you have to go like steam them rack them all of that and um get those out on the floor mm -hmm. um and then helping customers of course and then kind of restyling mannequins or moving stuff around in the store like right now with spring coming in just kind of getting um different like color schemes together and things like that so it's just like fresh and new and fun yeah cool. yeah awesome and with that um do you have like any opportunities for like iowa state students or stuff like upcoming like if they're looking for internships or jobs yeah yeah for sure we are always looking for help i feel like we're always short-staffed <laughs> and so um yeah if you are available usually like we go from like 11 to 3 or 3 to 7 so 3 to 7 seems to work good for college yeah. girls sometimes um otherwise saturdays are a little bit longer like mm -hmm. nine to four or twelve to four but um we're always looking for help that way we also really are looking for like brand ambassadors mm -hmm. um just okay. to come in and like model clothes and like we have some photographers and we just like to do like more styled shoots and things like that and then just have the ambassadors kind of like tag us on facebook and things like that to help mm -hmm. us grow that way and um and yeah trying to like somehow get in the fashion show and stuff like that yeah. too yeah awesome. yeah yeah well, thank you so much for letting us talk to you today. Yes. And everyone, make sure to come and chunk, check out the Funky Zebras here on Grand Avenue. Yep. Yep. Grand Avenue. <laughs> thank you. Thank so you, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah.